Yeah, I've been struggling to come up with an intro for this one, so I'm not even going to bother. Let's just jump right into it. Oh yeah, they look- they're starting to look pretty funky all right. They kind of- I don't know, they kind of look like an elf to me. Oh, we gotta give them a name. John Carcat Smith. This is definitely the most beautiful name I have ever come up with. Oh, there they go. I am not controlling John Carcat. They are they are moving at their own at their own free will. Just beyond that horizon lies a new world, a fresh start. I hope you are as excited as I am. Just think of all the opportunities that await us. Yes, John Carcat is absolutely excited. Soon the two of us will occupy our own plot of land and we can begin our new adventure. The two of us? I wasn't aware that I was going to be sharing my farm with someone else. I thought I was just going to be living alone. Well, there goes my plans of becoming a hermit. <laughs> And we're off. I'm sure nothing bad would ever happen. Oh no, this game... This game seems a little too wholesome for anything problematic to happen. Absolutely not. Yeah, see, look at that. Everybody is... Having a fun time here. They're throwing a party on this ship. That is absolutely what is going on right now. I fear this may be the end for us all. Well, the end for you. I'm the main character. Obviously, I'm going to be surviving this shit. Oh, oh yeah, that guy in the background is definitely dead. Yeah, I, I think John Carcat is definitely going to die here. What a tragedy. Oh, it was all just a dream. Goodness, you're finally awake. We had such a terrible storm last night. This little old lighthouse was rattling something fierce. Oh, so it wasn't a dream. My dear, I, hear I hate to be the bearer of grave news. I'm afraid you may be the only survivor. And that's fine with me. Like, I wasn't exactly attached to anyone else on that ship. When you're feeling up to it, I have someone who wishes to meet with you. Someone rather important, no less. Oh gee, why to put me on the spot like that? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. so good to see you up and about. Feel feeling better then? No broken bones? I mean, I'm feeling the same as always. I heard about your situation. It's such a tragedy. The sea is a cruel mistress. At the same time, I must offer you a proper welcome. Though the circumstances may be less than ideal, you found your way to our fair town of Honeywood. Ah, cool. So where's the Plum Grove? The name's Quentin Whitfield. I'm the mayor here. Oh, jeez. Something tells me that this guy is going to be quite the character. Growing off of past experiences with other games. The waves seem calmer than usual this morning. The calm after the storm, perhaps? Ha 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 ha. Very, very funny, Quentin. How do I commit crimes in this game? This here is our charming schoolhouse. Where children of Honeywood spend their day learning. Mayhaps your own offspring will one day go here too. Now I'm never gonna send them to school, I'm just gonna have them work on the farm all day. That's the only reason why I'll ever have children. Now, where was that thing? Ah yes, here it is. I'm so glad I always keep an extra on me. So you shan't be lost. I present you with a map of the island. It's yours to keep. Ah, uh, so we always get lost in these games. I have a very poor sense of direction. I imagine John Carcat does too. Wow. What a disaster. 
And I'm supposed to clean all of this up? My, my, I hadn't realized the farm had fallen to such disrepair. Really? What makes you say that? Well, that just means you can truly make it your own. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Now, there's a topic of taxes. The land is yours to keep, but taxes will always be due at the end of every week. Oh, So I can't live here for free? You can find me at the town hall later today to sign your name on the deed and work out the details of the payment. Wait, you're leaving already? Oh, I almost forgot. The previous owners might have left behind some equipment in the farmhouse when they left. Well, that's pretty convenient. Well, I didn't expect it to leave so quickly like that. Usually tutorials, like, drag on forever. This is weirdly relaxing. I could just pick dandelions all day. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's drill to the town hall. Such a nice looking farm. I bet I could build a better farm than this. You're John Carcat Smith, right? I've heard about you. I'm Jacob Ryle. Luna McBell isn't a farmer, but she said that she enjoys growing crops as a hobby. Oh, my son is going to be spoiled run if I don't do something about it soon. I... I don't know how to respond to any of that. I wish you the best of luck, Jacob. Hey, don't leave. I'm trying to talk to you. William Watt. Please make your acquaintance. I'm William Watt, and I'm the carpenter. Well, that's great. Such a lovely spring day, don't you think? Foraging isn't just a hobby, you know. It can be pretty darn profitable if you find a rare mushroom in the woods. Oh yeah, I'm sure John Clark had to could definitely use some rare mushrooms, if you know what I mean. Wait. Hello? Jack Watt. John Carcat Smith. I'll try to remember your name. I'm Jack Watt. Whenever I go out at night, I see Clementine Hall walking around. I wonder what she's doing. Oh man, I hate that I already forgot the other guy's name. Because <laughs> for a moment I thought he just left, died his hair, and came back out. <laughs> that would have made things a whole lot more interesting. Like you leave and come back acting like a completely different person. And also, wouldn't it be nice to just dye your hair that quickly? I've heard that there are bears deep in the forest. That's a little unsettling. I mean, what else is in the forest? Bigfoot? Be careful when you go out at night, John Carcat. There are strange creatures lurking all around us. Oh uh, yeah, those are called animals, Cat Hopkins. I... I don't know what to say to you. You're being a little too superstitious. Ah, <laughs> uh, gee, what am I gonna do if I go out in the middle of the night and, and encounter a raccoon? I don't think I could be able to sleep again after that. Hey, where are you going? Aren't you supposed to be waiting for me inside the... town hall? Howdy, John Carcat Smith. Was hoping I'd run into you. You don't always need a partner to dance, you know. You can do it by yourself, too. You should try it. Yeah, but it's, like, more fun to dance with a partner. Have you ever seen Martin Bailey's Tackle Box? He's really passionate about fishing. I have no idea who that is, but... I'll make sure to take a quick look the next time I see him. If I ever do see him. Oh, wow, look at that. He just teleported right inside. Now, where is that deed? Dude, you're always losing shit. I don't even know if he should trust you as a mayor. Yes, that's my name right there, John Carcat. And with my seal, it is official. This is, the land is now yours. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Don't forget, taxes are due every Sunday by end of day. 
Be sure to see me to make your payment. Otherwise, your land will be seized. Aw, oh, man. Well, there he goes. Yeah, I think he's just gonna sit there. Let's... Let's go see what we can do out here. 20 wood? Yeah, I guess this should be pretty easy. <laughs> oh my... I have no idea what I am doing in this game. And I have no idea who that other person is. This is probably a bad idea, doing things mindlessly. Lewis Jones told me that some meats cook best when the fire is hot. Well, others prefer to go low and slow. Oh yeah, I can definitely imagine that. Okay, okay, I need- I need to be an adult here. You're John Carcat Smith? Good, I'm Henry Johns. Just to be clear, we have high standards around here. Well, okay, damn. I'm ashamed that you're Johns, Henry. You know how to knit John Carcat Smith? It's easy once you get the hang of it. It feels good to have someone in your life who you can always count on, right? Thank goodness for GG. Yeah, thank goodness for GG. Bye. So you're the one who bought that vacant farm out east. I'm Temperance Crump, by the way. Market day happens every Sunday, and it's always a pain in the behind. Man, why are the, all the old people so grumpy on this island? Or maybe I'm just generalizing all of them because I came across two grumpy old people. Some folks only talk about themselves, wish they'd pipe down sometimes. Yeah, young people are like that. Alright, now leave me be. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Oh, look at all the farm animals. Have you seen a roach? I mean the fish, not the insect. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. 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 Uh. You think Edward Bailey ever gets tired of being woken up by the roosters every morning? I don't know, I'd be... I'd be fine with that. Oh my good... Oh my god. You can pet the animals! This is a... This is a very good game. Very, very good game. Hello, child. I assume you're our child. You're new in town, right? My name's Edward Bailey. Oh, your father was talking about you earlier. Crows don't seem too scary to me, except when they're in the graveyard. I like it when we have ice cream at home. Well, that's... Cool. Wait, I can Oh. Oh. I see now. I can- I can be able to pay off my taxes by selling my garbage to children in this game. That's amazing. I already fulfilled my requirements like that. That's- That's so cool. Well, now I know how to make money in this game. What's he doing? Hey, Walter, what you doing to that tree? I hope your voyage wasn't too rough on you. I'm Walter Hull, and I'm the hunter. Oh, do you hunt trees? Is that what you were doing? When I'm feeling sad, I have a bit of moral tart to brighten my day. That's... that's nice, Walter. Sorry, I didn't mean to push you out of the way like that. I... Uh, I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> I hope he hunts all the trees in this village. I'm sure that wouldn't have any drastic consequences on the environment. Whoa, I- Wow, just like that, we completed the other quest. This is definitely going to be a relatively easy game. Oh, you're Walter. Sorry, I forgot what you looked like. That is a magnificent beard, though. 
Oh, I should have given John Carcat a beard. Oh well. They're just going to have a smooth face for now. Oh, for a moment I thought those were guns, but no, no, those were telescopes. It would be a little concerning if this child had a gun. My friend's cousin told me that there are sugar trees on the mainland. Mom gives me lots of hot chocolate. That's why I grow so fast. Is that why I'm so short? It's because I didn't drink enough hot chocolate as a child. Aw, oh, man, I could have been, like, six feet tall by now. Child? What are you doing so late at night? You're from the mainland? That's so cool, I'm Wilbur Kit. Mom is really nice to everyone, not just me. Brenna is happy that I have lots of friends at school. That's cool, let's trade. Uh... Wow, only $24? The other one had so much money. There we go. I hope you enjoy whatever that crap was. Man, I'm going to make a fortune in this game. I have no idea if this is a good place to put my crops, but I'm leaving it here anyways. Might end up looking hideous, but... Eh, whatever. I'm here to farm, not make things look pretty. Nothing is allowed to be prettier than John Carcat. What's this? Sarah wants two cherries. Well, I have no idea where to find those, but yeah, sure, I'll accept that. Very cool. Oh, they're already growing. I have no idea what I planted. It's always good to go off of my instincts. That's how you're supposed to be playing these games, right? Child, child, trade, 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 trade. Wow, this one has a lot of money. Here, you can buy all of this straw. You, child, buy my garbage. <laughs> That's all I needed, Penelope Lloyd. Oh, look, at the angry old man. Before you try and sell me something, let me... Me just tell you that I'm not in the mood to haggle. Poor Crows will never let me down! Wow, that is certainly a completely different change in tone right there. I'm not in the mood to chat unless you want to gossip about the mayor and his bloody taxes. Yeah, we can definitely gossip about that. Wow, you don't really have anything interesting. Well, I'm getting out of here. Maybe I'll scam the elderly another day. Hmm. Well, that's certainly a way to greet someone. You're awful talkative today. Spring is a great time of year to clean up the junk around your farm. You're doing that, right? I mean... I'm definitely getting there. Here, buy whatever this plant is. Thank you. Uh-huh. Jeez, why- Why are these old people so rude? Oh, finally, there you are, Roland Smith. Wait, Smith? S hey, we're both Smiths! That's am amazing, wow. I like playing the recorder. I wish that could be my job when I grow up. Yeah, I... I don't think your parent would be particularly fun with that. I'm bored, like always. Yeah, I can't imagine. Uh... Here, buy this plant. Thank you. That's all I needed. Wait, I have to know, can you pet, pet these things? Can't... Oh, yes. Quality gaming. 
I mean, if my sleep schedule wasn't shit, I could... I wouldn't mind having a farm. I wouldn't mind waking up early and playing with the animals. Whoa! What are you- What's he doing? What? Oh! Look at him go! Hell yeah! Don't stop! Keep going! Yeah! Yeah! Like that, Mayor? Look at him go! Oh, Sarah! There she is. Sarah! I got a delivery for you. Sarah! Yes, finally! Got... Whatever that is, I... <laughs> I just feel good doing stuff in this game. Even if I have no idea what it's for. Oh, what's this? Can I enter this? No? Man, what a letdown. I was really hoping I could, like, go into the cave and get eaten by a bear or something. I don't know. It's what those people were warning me about. Oh, fishing. Yeah, I could definitely do some fishing in this game. All I think with clams, you can just... Oh! Oh! Now she's dancing around the wall. Rose Swain. Oh yeah, I think I need to buy some, like, fishing stuff. Well, this is convenient. Also, would you like to buy some, like, garbage? There we go. That's perfect. Thank you, Rose. Come on, John Carcat. Let's catch something good. Oh, there it goes. Is that seaweed? Ah. Uh. Huh. I guess we go again? Come on, John Carcat. Let's catch something better. Ugh. One more go. I'm sure we could sell that garbage to children later. Yes. Oh. We got a fighter, this one. What is it? Ooh! A scallop! I was racking through my brain as to what that thing was, but... Yeah, that's... That's cool. Need to find more clams, though. Oh, a child! Child, child! Child! Please. Please. Child, come back! Child! Uh... Here, buy the seaweed and straw and whatever else. Uh, ooh, the scallop too. Yeah, that's that's nice. Come on. Ah. <laughs> That damn child pushed me out of the way! If he hadn't done that, I would've been able to go into the bakery on time. You little shit! What did I do to deserve that, huh? What the hell is wrong with you? I like listening to the birds in the morning. It's almost as if they're singing. Ah, you little turd. Ooh, isn't this kind of... spooky? Only open on Saturday. Well, damn. 
Wait, can I go fishing out here? Oh. I wonder what I can catch up here. Better be something good. Oh, it's another goddamn boot. Shit. Well, I guess that's another thing I'm going to be selling to a child later. Okay, now that it's the next day, I am... I am going to the bakery... as soon as possible. So no child doesn't, like, push me out of the way again like last time. Oh! My turnips grew. And I get more seeds. Oh! Oh! I could definitely make a lot of money off of this. And here I said that going to the bakery was the very first thing I'm going to do. Well, I can't see it now. This is definitely going to be my downfall. I mean, I'm sure I could probably cook my own stuff, but I don't think I exactly have the ingredients for any of it. Especially since I'm too busy... ...scamming children. Yes! Finally! Now you better not kick me out again like last time. Whoa! Whoa! What happened there? Well, John Carcats! Huh. Okay. That was something. Ooh, we got another one. Please be something good. Ah, oh, goddamn! It's another boot. John Carcat, why do we keep catching boots? This is this is messed up. Ah, uh, let me guess. This is another boot. Why is God playing tricks with me? Okay, I'm expanding my. I guess my plot. Whatever it is. So I can grow more turnips. That's all I'm going to be baking on now. Turnips. And I can sell them all to children. Oh, me and my big brain. I can't wait to be the richest guy thing on the island. Wow, then that's all the seeds I had. That's perfect. Man, I am so smart. You know, you've got a lot of time on your- Excuse me? I do not stay up all night pulling out weeds for you to say that to me. Man, what an asshole. Man, I wish I had a way to... plan her demise or something. She's always so rude to me for no reason. Oh, there they come. There they come. Hey, child, do you want to buy stuff for me? Yeah, you do. You want to buy these flowers. Aw, oh, sweet. You. You. Glasses. Come back here, glasses. Glasses. Yes. Yes. Buy this. Ooh, death cake? What a pretty cake. I wonder how it tastes. I- I- You know, I'm just gonna buy it. I'm- I'm sure nothing bad will come out of that. I mean, I'm certainly not going to be the one eating it. You woke up to a noise outside. Better investigate. What? What the hell? Well, I didn't expect him to mail it out at, like, 12 a.m., but, yeah, I'll, I'll accept it. I need to follow whatever this is. Come back, ghost. Come on, ghosty, I just, I just want to be your friend. 
Why are you running from me? Also, why do you look like that guy from earlier? I forgot his name. Come back. Where's he going? Slow down! Well, I mean, I guess he's not really haunting me. I'm the one haunting him. Because clearly he's afraid of me. What? Where'd he go? Hello, miss. Have you seen a ghost around here? Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, ghost. Oh, that sounds like quite the story. I'm afraid I haven't seen a ghost around here. That sure is something, I guess. That was certainly a journey. Well, time to go back to bed, John Carcat, and forget any of that happened. Also, I really hate that the death cake is in my hot bar like that. Because I know with one wrong click, John Carcat's definitely going to be in the grave. And we don't want that, do we? I mean, they are the main character, after all. It would be a shame if the main character died so early. Wait, can I get him the death cake? Oh, I needed one of these, thanks. I'm just not in the mood to deal with people today. Nothing warms our heart quite like knitting some socks on a cold winter night. Isn't that right? I... guess that's true, I don't know. He's always dancing around like that. Must be nice to be so carefree. Now I need to find the teacher because I have collected all the clams he- Ah shit, what do I do? Oh, there he is! Slow down! Stop. I'm not going to be chasing you like I did with that ghost the other night. Or tonight. Oh, I almost didn't see you there, John Carcat Smith, facing out again. Yes. Ah, oh, sweet. Chickweed isn't worth much, but it's great for crafting potions. I don't know, the children seem to really love chickweed. Like this one, this one is just excited for chickweed, I bet. And I do not have any in my inventory. Uh, here, you can buy this milk, I guess. Thanks, child. That will give you nice, strong bones. Oh, a ship! Aw. Oh. Nice. I wonder if they'll let me sail the seas. Please, take me off this island. This place is haunted. Do you have anything for me? Ahoy. Honeywood, right? Not a bad town. Not a bad town indeed. Feels good to stand on solid ground again. That's cool. Why if I insult you? You've got a lot of nerves saying something like that. Good fortune to you, friend. I dare you to say that to me again. <laughs> oh, that was just sad. What about you? Oh, I can trade with this one. Fascinating. Oh, that's paint I thought it was milk. I don't know, I guess everything that's white is milk to me. Eh, I don't care. Yeah, that's fair. Until next time, friend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all the time I have for this game. It is quite a charming little game. I could definitely see myself playing this some more.